Well, for the first time tonight, we are hearing from the family of a Roanoke woman whose death remains a mystery more than a year after her body was found. Today, Deshaun Kent, the man accused of hiding Edme Merle Perez's body and killing her two cats, was sentenced for the felony charges. Deshaun Kent received the maximum sentence of 15 years for his charges, but five years were suspended. However, the judge said he wished he could give him more time. 10 News reporter Irisha Jones has the latest. Just over a year after Ed May Merle Perez disappeared, her boyfriend at the time, Deshaun Kent, will serve 10 years in prison for burying her body and killing her two cats. During his sentencing, he apologized to her family in the courtroom. I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm, it was a terrible decision. My, my mind wasn't there at the point about my actions. And I hope you forgive me. And the apology is hard for her family to accept. Apologies are the word. Actions speak louder than words, right? Kent claims he and Perez were doing drugs the day before she went missing. He also confessed in court of concealing her body after he found her dead. When did you put her body in the trash can and roll it out to the, the creek? About two days after that. Tony Merle says Ed May leaves behind five children and not knowing the whereabouts of his sister has taken a toll on the family. Not hearing from her, having to hold that from the children, kind of. We want, we didn't want to say anything to them um, until we knew for sure, kind of, I guess. Uh, it was a very difficult process to, to look at them in the face and just try to live life as normal. Merle says Kent didn't allow them to have a proper burial at the time of her death. The family was just able to get her remains last month. No parent should ever have to bury their child, um, regardless of the situation. Uh, she was a mental health patient, uh, uh, and he took advantage of her. Kent was not charged in the death because of an autopsy on the skeletal remains could not determine how she died. That was Irisha Jones reporting.